All right, so there are seven work from home jobs I hmm. found that are really good that almost nobody else is talking about. And the first one on the list is gonna be an AI data trainer. So as an AI data trainer, you'll be responsible for collecting and curating data sets in order to make sure that machine learning does its job and the AI actually gets better. So basically you're gonna be training AI how to understand and interpret data. And the global AI market is absolutely booming right now. And the latest estimates say that it's gonna reach 190 billion by 2025. But for AI to get better and better at what it does, it needs human input. And that's where you come in as an AI data trainer. And with this job, you'll start off at 15 to $20 per hour. And you can make a lot more if you learn about data analytics or data science. And this is actually a really good entry level job if you want to work in AI or get into data analytics or machine learning. And most of these jobs that are available are remote. And Glassdoor has remote AI data trainers making about $55,000 a year. So some of the pros of this one are the ability to work in an innovative field with lots of room for growth, the flexibility of having a work from home job, and the ability to learn in demand skills. Some of the cons of this one are the need for continuous learning and the tasks, especially at the lower level can be very repetitive. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. The next one on the list might be great for you if you enjoy spending your time reading and you wanna get paid to read and study some of the best works of writing out there. And that's gonna be a literature guide writer. And as a literature guide writer, you'll be responsible for reading and then making guides for various pieces of literature out there. Now there's many different ways of doing this. One of my favorite companies, and I actually use this all the time, is going to be short form. And this video is isn't sponsored or anything like that. It's legitimately just a company that I really like. And they basically just make guides for all kinds of different self-help type books. And so I can kind of just look at a one page mm -hmm. summary for the self-help book to see if it's something that would help me at the time. And then after I read it and get kind of a nice summary of it, mm. then I can decide to read the whole book if I want to. And being a literary guide writer is kind of like being a skilled tour guide, leading readers through the intricate and fascinating landscape of literary masterpieces. And there's a lot of different companies out there that you can do this for, and you make some somewhere around $25 an hour. So some of the pros of this one are you get paid to immerse yourself in the world of literature, you do get to work remote, and you can make a meaningful impact on other people's learning journeys. Some of the cons here are the need for continuous research, tight deadlines, and sometimes you'll have to align your creative vision with educational requirements. Overall, I'm gonna give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is gonna be great for you if you want to get paid to market other people's products without having to make your own products. Product, and that's gonna be an affiliate marketing manager. Now you could be an affiliate marketing manager for something like a blog, or you could be an affiliate marketing manager for a company. And in that case, you would actually be working with different online influencers or other blogs and helping them to effectively market your products. And being an affiliate marketing manager is kind of like being a conductor of an orchestra. You'll be coordinating with different affiliates to create harmonious marketing campaigns that resonate with an audience and drive sales. And a fun fact about this is 31% of online publishers say that affiliate marketing is their number one revenue source. Now this one is not an entry level job. Typically you are going to have to have some digital marketing experience, but for this one, according to Glassdoor, you make about $99,000 a year. And by the way, later on, I'll talk to you about how you can get into digital marketing because you actually don't have to get a college degree or have previous experience in order to start. So some of the pros of this one include the potential for high earning. Most of the jobs are remote and they also have flexible work hours. And you have the opportunity to collaborate with a bunch of different diverse brands and affiliates. Some of the cons here are the need for self-motivation, the challenges of working in a competitive environment, and the fact that you have to rely on external factors like market trends and audience engagement. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. So one of the best ways to get into this one is to get your first entry-level digital marketing job. And my friend Seth has actually helped thousands of people get jobs in digital marketing. I've interviewed many of them on this channel. And he does have a free masterclass, which you can check out. I'll put it down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Now the next on the list is very interesting and there are a ton of people especially since the world shut down that are making really good money with this and that is an online personal stylist and this is where you provide fashion recommendations outfit suggestions and style advice over a digital platform so in many cases you'll meet with the client online you'll make sure to get their measurements and what they want to get out of the experience and then of course you can offer suggestions but in many cases you can actually do the shopping for them and this is much more scalable than doing it in person an online personal stylist make about $43,000 a year. So some of the pros of this one are it's extremely flexible. You basically choose your own hours.
hours, you have the opportunity to unleash your creativity, and you really get to help your clients out when it comes to their wardrobe as well as their self-image. Some of the cons of this one are typically you are going to have to build a client base and establish yourself, and dealing with different clients' expectations and different style preferences can be a little bit challenging. And I've seen other people that modify this a little bit, and they actually turn it into a live stream type thing. So they'll basically just get a bunch of clientele that sort of have similar body shape and body sizes to them. And then they'll just get a bunch of clothes, for instance, and they'll just try them on on a live stream. And then people in the comments can basically just bid on the clothes. So yeah, this is a really good one. And it got super popular over the last few years. I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, the next one might be great for you if you're a fan of podcasts. And that that would be a podcast editor. Now, if you've ever listened to some of the biggest podcasts out there, for instance, Dan Carlin's Hardcore History, you'll notice that the use of silences in the podcast is incredibly important. So for instance, if he makes a really interesting point, there's usually going to be two to three seconds of silence afterwards. And as a podcast editor, you have to have a really good ear for when to leave those silences in there and when to cut them out. So this is something that pretty much the only people who can do this well are people who regularly listen to podcasts. And it can honestly be very difficult to find people who can do this well. And that's why podcast editors make about $54,000 a year. So some of the pros of this one are the opportunity to work in the podcast industry, which is rapidly growing, a chance to shape the future of audio entertainment, and the fact that there's a lot more opportunities in the future, especially if you want to start your own podcast down the line. Some of the cons of this one are it can be hard to establish yourself. You do need to have experience in podcast editing specifically, which is different than any other type of editing editing. And oftentimes you have to meet very tight deadlines. But overall, I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list might be great for you if you want to be like the Simon Cowell of judging ads online. And that's going to be an ads evaluator. And in this position, you'll be assessing the quality and relevance of ads that you see online. And this is all designed to improve the user experience. Because yes, companies do want to make money and their advertisers pay them money, but they don't want their users to have a bad user experience just because because some advertiser wants to use some sketchy marketing tactics. Now, this is an entry level job and you'll make around $39,000 a year. And this can also be a great way for you to get some experience if you want to work in the advertising industry. So some of the pros of this one are most of the jobs are going to be remote. You have a chance to improve the quality of online advertising for your company, and it can lead to a lot of opportunities down the line. Some of the cons of this one are your work as an ads evaluator can be somewhat subjective. It can be very monotonous and the position itself doesn't pay that well. But overall, this is a great opportunity to get started. I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, the next one on the list is another type of digital marketing, and that is going to be a content marketing specialist. Now, the creator economy is growing faster than just about any industry out there. And I honestly think this is one of the industries that has the most opportunity. And with YouTuber being the number one career that kids pick that they want to do when they grow up, getting a job in the creator economy can be incredibly lucrative, and it can also lead to you gaining the skills that down the line to start your own brand someday. And as a content marketing specialist, your mission is going to be to craft persuasive, engaging, and informative content. This is going to help to captivate audiences, increase brand awareness, and boost conversions. And this is almost always going to be from the comfort of your home. And I really like this quote, content isn't king, it's the kingdom, right? Just about all the brands out there, whether it's big companies or it's smaller or mid-sized companies are moving towards using content, right? Because when you create content and people engage with it, then they're much more likely to read your blog or sign up to your newsletter or even respond to paid advertising. And content marketing specialists make about $56,000 a year. So some of the pros of this one are there's a ton of job opportunities. It can be good for creativity and expression, and it's almost always going to be remote and flexible. Some of the the cons of this one are there's high pressure to consistently produce quality content, the need to stay updated with constantly evolving digital marketing trends, and the challenge of balancing creativity with strategic objectives. But overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 9 out of 10. By the way, if you want to check out 13 remote jobs that are always hiring, I actually made an entire video about that, and you can find that by clicking right here.